All right, y'all. So I told you I'd be back with a little bit more uh, about the GMRS radios. And um, I touched a little bit on programming and how to program directly into the uh, in, directly into the radio on a couple of these Bofang radios. Baofeng, however you want to pronounce them. I'm not quite sure. Um, so I showed you it's pretty simple. Uh, but I'm going to show you a little bit simpler way. Uh, since that video, actually, I reached out to to Tid Radio, and I know you guys have already seen this uh, in a million other videos across uh, across TikTok, YouTube, wherever else of people people showing you. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit uh, a little bit more in depth on how it works, because the alternative to this is either like I showed you before, programming directly into the radio, which on these radios you can't set the names. Uh, so, for example, if you see there, so you can see the name is set for like county or, uh, Three, two. you know, like there's Baptist Hospital, so, you know, so you can put the names in there and it's very tedious doing it on the radio. Very doable when you need to. Of course, we touched a little bit on, on an emergency basis. You can do it. It doesn't take a, a, a lot to, to do so. It's just a little tedious and going through the me menus for each individual one. This is going to make it a little bit simpler, a lot simpler. And again, the other alternative to that is using a program called Chirp. You have to plug this into a computer, not your phone, but into a computer. Um, it, it's a lot like using an Excel spreadsheet. So if you're not familiar with Excel spreadsheets, that can be a little bit confusing as well. It's not a bad way to do it. Once you get it set up uh, in Chirp, Chirp's a great way to do it. Um, but this is going to allow you to do it on the go and wherever you're at. And it's, it's, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you do is you just take it and you plug it into your radio. Now you do have to have the what, what a lot of people call the Kenwood style, uh, which is the two pins on the side. All the Baofangs, uh, most radios have them. Uh, there are a few out there that do not, uh, but most do have the two pin. And I, you may be able to even buy an adapter if that doesn't work. Now, what's great is if you do have like the TID radio, uh, some of their newer radios, you don't have to have this. They have a built in. So if you do end up buying one of their radios, uh, don't double buy, don't buy this. And like the, the uh, TDH3, it has that built in. I believe the 8H is the other one. Uh, they've got a few radios out. Definitely, uh, definitely go check those radios out as well. But these battle things are great too. This will allow you to do it wirelessly using your phone. So let's just plug it in. And uh, I'm going to pull up the app real quick. All right, so let's take a look at the app. And the app is, is uh, pretty easy to use. It's not the easiest app, but it's, it's definitely easy to use. It's once you, get, once you do it once or twice, you, you've got it figured out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in our little device on the side. And, of course, you got to set up the actual app, register an account, name, password, all that fun stuff. takes two minutes, just as you normally would any other uh, program. So uh, go ahead and <clears throat> a couple things. One, sh one thing is make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled on your device. Uh, when I say device, not the radio, on your phone, tablet, uh, whichever you're going to use. So there is not a iPad app, but there is an iPhone app, so that's why it looks a little weird on the iPad, but it does work. And uh, and I use uh, a Samsung for my phone, so and it, and it works great on it as well. So go ahead and enable the Bluetooth on your device, but we're not connecting this to your device Bluetooth. How we're going to connect it, we're going to go ahead and turn it on, so you see the little blue light came on, and we're going to connect through the app. So go ahead, you'll see it listed there on your app. We'll go ahead and turn it on. So now we are actually connected. Now you'll see it there, it says kit. Next thing you wanna do is choose your radio. Whichever radio you've got, they've got lots of different, uh, lots of different brands, lots of different, uh, this is under the Bofang, Baofang. 
Uh, here's the different brands. There's a whole bunch of different common ones there. And uh, Baofeng. And then this one specifically is the UV5RM. And uh, so the next thing you want to do is hit read. That is going to pull all the information that is currently on your radio and put it onto here. So once we hit read, and you'll see it's started to read it. And you'll see all the little lights flashing and everything. So we're just going to wait just a second, and then you see the little bar loading. It does not take very long at all. And so now it's read the device. Now, what do we do from here? You can look here under function. These are these are the settings for your radio. So this is the same as if you were to go here under your menu and your squelch and your step and you know your different settings that are on your radio is actually right here. So you can actually change those. Now, how do we find repeaters in your area? Well, there's a few different ways. They actually have it built in. You click down here to repeaters and it's going to show you nearby repeaters in your area. Now, not all of these you're going to be able to listen into. Some of these are digital and you're just not you're just going to hear a bunch of weird noises when somebody tries to talk. But a lot of these are FM and you or UHF, VHF uh, frequencies that you can listen to. Uh, for example, the KC for SME, that is one. Um, and, and such, the W4UC, I just know those are uh, those are some that in my area that I can listen into. Um, so if you want to actually program one of these into your radio, what you'll do is you'll sit here and you'll go to Import, and you choose which channel you want it to go to. Now I do wish that it showed here which channel was open, but it does not. Like I said, you can uh, you can pull up you can pull up your radio here if you want, and if you just hit go down. So channel two twenty seven is my last uh, frequency. So I know two twenty eight is open. So if I go here to two twenty eight, I can select it, confirm, and I can add a bunch more. When I'm done adding these uh, repeaters, these are repeater frequencies. Um, and what's cool about it is they actually already have the um, um, your receive and transmit. Uh, like I said, some of these might be digital. So this is FM Fusion. Uh, Fusion is a digital uh, side. So you'll see some of these are a little bit. So and then you've got your tones. So you've got all of that already. Your offsets, all of that already programmed in. So I chose the one, the W4UC. And I am, or was it the W4? Yeah, I believe that was the one I did. So W4UC and channel number 228. And I'm just going to hit import. So once, once I do that, I can actually go down here to 228. It has not written it to the radio yet. But I just pulled it up. It's got it now in the list with the name, everything. Now all I do is hit write. I didn't have to enter in any information. I didn't have to enter in any frequencies. I just downloaded it straight from the app. And this is great while traveling. So as you're traveling to go see family and such and you want to program in, uh, again, I, I highly recommend just go ahead and get on the GMRS. It's a $35 fee. There's no test. The GMRS license is good for all your family, including your in-laws. So now we go up here. Channel 228 is the one we programmed. You'll see W4UC. And it has all the information and the correct, uh, all, all the correct things in there. So it's ready to go. That repeater is now in there. Now, again, like I said, I did... Uh, reach out to them and they did uh, they did send this to me um, for free so I did not buy it but they did send it to me and I, I think it's but I think it's a really good product so there's a um, it's simple it's something that should have been out a long time ago 
Uh, a couple other things that are cool about the uh, using their program. Uh, so for those of you that are uh, using Chirp, uh, it does allow you to upload or import your Chirp files, which is really cool, and vice versa. So you can uh, export these uh, these files and then import them into Chirp. Uh, if you still like using Chirp, but then you also want the wireless capabilities and such, you can do that, uh, which is really cool. So you just export it as the... Uh, um, whatever the file format it, it tells you what the file format is and you just export it and it goes straight into their program uh, and uh, so you go on the web browser and go to their website and uh, and you just you just do that and then it's actually it saves when you save it onto the web browser it's on the phone so you can't use the computer to program it wirelessly you still have to use your phone that's a little weird but it works so as soon as you save it it'll be on the phone on the app and then you can uh, you can upload it straight to the radio. So if you do still prefer using Chirp, um, uh, going that way. But man, just being able to go down the road, um, don't do it while driving, but just being able to, while you're traveling and you're in a new town, or we travel back and forth to see family back where we're from in North Carolina. So for me to just be able to click a couple buttons on my phone and it just uploads uh, new repeaters in that area, uh, without having to, to use a computer and stuff is definitely a game changer for sure. Um, again, get your GMRS license, start talking, get on these repeaters. Uh, that specific one I actually programmed in is, is not a GMRS, that's, that's actually a, uh, a ham uh, or amateur um, frequency, but there are plenty of uh, GMRS ones out there. Download the My GMRS app. And uh, look around on there. You uh, the repeater handbook. Uh, you've got uh, radioreference.com is going to show you your different like emergency service uh, frequencies. It's going to show you. It'll show you what like some of the uh, local companies like Best Buy or something is using. So that's that's really cool if you want to listen to a bunch of Best Buy employees. Um, so a lot of cool things to do on GMRS. Get on it and then. Don't be too nervous. Just start talking on the repeaters. It's just a bunch of old guys usually, and uh, they'll be talking about their doctor's appointment. So, uh, but they're all really cool guys. Um, and uh, but don't be afraid. Just start talking and get get to know them. It's a really cool, uh, really cool, cool community. Great hobby. Uh, and then uh, you've got that gateway into eventually getting your ham license. Uh, maybe uh, some people still just like to just stay around with the GMRS. But uh, again, uh, let me know if you have any questions specific on this. I think this is a great product. It's like 20 something dollars. Uh, sometimes you can get them cheaper on TikTok shops. Sometimes you can get them cheaper. Um, uh, I'm going to put a link uh, below. And uh, But yeah, definitely check it out. It's through uh, TID Radio. And I know you've seen a bunch of them already. You've seen a bunch of reviews, but I figured I'd give a little bit more in depth. And they were nice enough to send this out to me. So... But I uh, appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll, until next time, we'll do it again.